imagine waking up in a hospital bed, surrounded by masked strangers, with no one of familiarity, and being told you had nearly lost your life. This is how I woke up one day in 2020 during a pandemic. After the most physically and emotionally taxing month of my life, I finally received my diagnosis. I have Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is an autoimmune disease in which the immune system attacks the body's healthy tissue, causing life-threatening complications and possible organ damage. This is what was happening to me. My organs started shutting down one by one. My inflammatory markers showed sign of severe infection. As the normal range is between three and five, I was sitting at a dangerously high 400. A whole month of not knowing what was wrong with me, of not being allowed to see my friends and family because of the pandemic, of not knowing when I was going home. I had never felt so alone so afraid and so suicidal in my entire life. Everything I knew about life fell beneath me, like it didn't exist. Like I had to learn how to do life again, but in a way I didn't know. Just one particular day, I walked into the bathroom and glanced at myself in the mirror. My hair was falling out in clumps. My skin was filled with sores and lesions. And because of the excessive amounts of steroids, I had basically doubled in size. I had never felt so ugly, so worth nothing in my life. I come from a history of severe anorexia. So you can imagine the devastation that all of this tapped into. All of my deepest fears. It was at that moment I physically collapsed to the ground, crying and screaming to a God I didn't know existed or not. Why me? Almost having nothing to hold on to. Almost wishing I had died that night. But all it took was a tiny glimmer of hope, something small enough to keep me fighting that I'm here today. What do you do when you're feeling hopeless? Anything, literally anything. In my case, I did two things specifically. One, as a passionate photographer, I sat day after day editing my old photographs and entering them into competitions. And two, I read a book that changed my life. It's called You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. Since then, I've been featured in two photographic magazines, as well as 12 international photographic exhibitions. I decided that life was too short not to go after my dreams. I was so afraid of failing and rejection. But the truth is, not everyone's gonna love me. Not everyone's gonna love my work, and that's okay. Bre Brene Brown said, choosing to be brave with your life is like entering an arena. You put yourself in the arena, you're gonna get your ass kicked. You're gonna know failure. You're gonna know heartache. Had I not chosen to be brave, I wouldn't have achieved any of the things I've achieved today. Facing this disease has taught me to take things day by day, to find hope in the smallest of things, to keep me moving forward, Although our challenges are all different, we're currently living in a world where we're facing our greatest challenges of all. Pandemics, loss of loved ones and income, living in a world rapidly moving and we're struggling to navigate where we're going. And so what I would like to leave you with is to be present right now in this moment and trust that you have the hope, the power, the strength and the courage to overcome any single obstacle placed in front of you. The Dalai Lama said, tragedy 
should be utilized as a source of strength. No matter what we are going through, how painful they are, if we lose our hope, that's the real disaster. I've overcome many challenges in my life that I thought I would never survive. But I'm a firm believer that nothing will be thrown your way you cannot overcome. Remember, you have currently survived 100% of the worst days of your life. That is testimony to my strength, to your strength, and to all of our strength. Never, ever give up. You haven't even lived the best days of your life yet.